I want to give a quick setup tour of the Zoom ARQ AR48, how to get this going. When you buy it right out of the box, there is no SD card in it. The ring and the unit here is separate, maybe. <coughs> here we have a, an accessory Bluetooth module. Needs to be plugged in here if you have that. If not, then don't. This will connect this main module with the ring. You don't have that. You bring your own SD card. I plugged one in here. SDXC, it says. Here is the connection for a controller. It came with a USB cable. Goes in here. Huh. Fits only one way, right? There, yeah, like every USB. Let's put this here. The ring, as I said, either wireless or not. If it's wireless, you need two batteries in here. There's little doors that are locked. This is unlocked. Woohoo! There would be a AA battery in there. Close this and lock here this way. There's another one on this side. It has the USB connector here, right? It goes from the main station to the ring controller. There. All those two are connected. On this side here, we have power in with a power supply. This thing needs power for a power outlet. So I have a power outlet here. Let me plug this in here, 5 volts. There. Then we need an amplifier to play with this, right? Um, not everybody has an amplifier there or would think, oh no, I need an amplifier, what do I do now? You can use your headphones here up front. If your whole family wants to hear what you have to play, I do use those kind of cables. Those are like headphone cables. They have on both ends the same thing. Okay, plug this in here into the headphone out there. And then I have here this JBL speaker. It's a Bluetooth JBL speaker. And on the back it has an aux in. That's where I plug the headphone thing in, so then I can hear what is played. To turn this device on, you push and hold power, it comes on, it becomes illuminated. There we go. Connected means that this ring here is connected to the base station. <coughs> we push pad on here. It's already on in my case, and pad here. This is on. Then we can touch here and we hear noise. Okay. All right. Now I want to show you how to format the SD card first. Here's the function button that only lights up when you touch it. So you have to touch and hold this. And up here is names on their functions. It says SD format on number 27. So function hold SD format. Then it shows you here your SD card the memory size, and here an instruction. Are you sure? No is highlighted. So with this rotary knob you can turn this until yes is highlighted and then you push the knob down to do the function. Right In this case it formatted the card. Uh, next step, a factory reset. If you mess up anything in here and you push too many buttons and it's all messed up, a factory reset would work like this. A function button and the clear button here in the middle. It asks you, do you want to do a factory reset? Yes. Now, this factory reset is done now. It only affects the base station, not the ring. The ring is separate. Okay. To reset the ring, you go to function, ring. There we see ring controller. Reset the settings, yes. And now the ring controller is completely reset. When you start playing with this, you notice also in videos you see on YouTube that people have to hit this pretty hard to get decent volume out of those instruments, right? 
if you are not a piano player and your fingertips are not that rough, you want this a little bit easier. This works like this. Function, ring, here, this number 22. There it shows ring velocity and right this knob here you can change that to something else. To high, max, low. So we go to max. Okay, and then push the function button again. So now you don't have to hit so hard. The volume of this whole thing you control here. Make it too loud. Okay, and so this is the basic setup for this thing to reset it to zero and to keep going to get sound out of it. Um, is there more to know? The output for the headphones will show you the metronome clicks if it uses a metronome. If you click on recording here, you hear a metronome, right? This metronome signal is only put out here through the headphone aux. It is not put out through the amp odds here. So if you want to do a recording, like if you want to record your music, like for example with the Zoom H4, you would plug those two in here and you wouldn't hear the clicking from the metronome even though you hear it through this. Right? And I will make a few more videos on how to use this thing, what it does. And you just subscribe and look at the playlist of this device on my channel. And then you find out more. If you want to turn this one off, you push and hold the button, the on power button, and it turns off and it goes to sleep until next time. Thank you guys for watching and I hope this video was fast and helpful for you.